Hi, I'm Dan from Literary Gladiators. Now, many people know that on this channel, I like comic books. And I also like comic books based on novels. But one thing I've never experienced was novels based on comic books. This is the Walking Dead novel series, uh, written by Robert Kirkman and John... I don't know how to pronounce that name. Whatever. <coughs> Anyways, this is a two-in-one book. Uh, these ones explain the two stories of uh, the governor origin story. Uh, the total the entire series I do not own, uh, considering it consists of nine books, and that would take a long time to review every single book. So I'm just going to do the first two, Rise of the Governor and The Road to Woodbury. Rise of the Governor uh, explains the story of how Brian Blake becomes the governor. It explains how he became just a regular person during the beginning of the apocalypse, and how he became the ruthless villain that we know as the governor in the Walking Dead universe. Here we learn a few things about him. We learn how, uh, what happened to his brother, his friend, and basically how his niece became a zombie. Alright, we also found out how he found Woodbury and became the leader of the town. Alright, and we also get to see how he, uh, built the walls around the entire place. We also get to see how he meets, uh, Martinez. If, uh, if you've read the comics, you know who Martinez is. It's a really interesting story, and it's a definitely a great way to show that Brian Blake wasn't always evil. It just shows how he became that way. All right. Uh, the book also shows how uh, his brother becomes more violent throughout this uh, throughout the book. All right, which is weird because he's played as the villain. Yet we're learning about the other guy who becomes the villain. I don't know. It. I just thought it was a great read. And uh, if you love the governor, which okay, I guess love the governor is. <laughs> Is, a, is the wrong term. I guess maybe if you like the character of the governor as a villain, you want to learn how he became that villain. Uh, note, the thing is, the book is not for the faint of heart, because there is a lot of things such as murder, rape, and also a little bit of cannibalism in it. So, if you're not into that stuff, you might want to shy away from the book, because it's mentioned in detail. Next one is The Road to Woodbury, uh, which is the second uh, book in the series. Uh, and that one focuses on a character known as Lily Call, who, if anyone who's read the comics, you know who Lily is and what she does in the comics. Here you learned about her backstory, and it makes her kind of more than just a character who was there for three panels, you know, and was given a name. Because, honestly, in the comics, she was just given a name, like, in the last two pages. Here, you learn how she got to Woodbury, where she started, you know, with her family, her father, and all that what happened to them, and how she got to Woodbury, joined the governor, and why she began to not trust the governor by the time that they reached the prison. Alright, that all then leads into the Fall of the Governor series, which is part one to part two, but you can just read the comics if you want to know how that happened. Uh, either way, both of these books are really good, and the thing is I would definitely re recommend reading them. If you're a big fan of uh, The Walking Dead and its universe, and want to know more about uh, the villain and... Uh, about the Woodbury people, definitely pick this up. Pick these uh this book these this book up. Uh, there's also uh, several other books too. Uh, I do not own all of them. As I mentioned, there's nine books in the series. These are just the first two. So uh, if you ever find the other ones, definitely pick them up and read them. I heard they're pretty good. All right. Till next time. Keep reading.